because we know the gun violence can stop and it will stop and it starts with me and it starts with you. A meeting of the minds in search for solutions. I'm not going to break my stride to act a certain way. Just Rap so pioneer can... Melly Mel of the group Grandmaster Flash and Furious Five, who back in the 1970s helped create what is known today as hip hop, says he's worried about its future, but more so about this young generation. They should stop promoting violence. There's, a, there's a, a faction of hip hop that's not even actually hip hop and it hasn't even been hip hop, but it promoted the drugs, it promoted the misogyny, it, and, it, and it promoted the violence, and they should stop doing it. That's why he joined other members of the hip hop community for an outdoor discussion on how the current state of hip hop is tied to the surge in violent crime. The message for you rap dudes who spit highs on beats and cool crap music. The Hip Hop Against Gun and Gang Violence Initiative, which started 12 years ago and received support from the Obama administration to help start tackling the constant problem of gun violence. We need to keep a criteria. You have certain classes of music like drill, that glorifies killing and when you press people on the issue it becomes well we're protected by the first amendment drill rap has been a hot topic in the world of music as of late its lyrics often talk about guns drugs and getting back at ops slang for opponents with rivals often using social media to taunt one another back in may drill rappers were charged in a gang takedown in brooklyn the subgenre is popular with teens and young people. The songs, the music, the lyrics have transitioned to some place from safety um, to a place of non-safe. Now, those that are vested in preserving the art form, which started in the Bronx and is celebrated around the world, are hoping to save it and save its communities. It resonates because, you know, hip hop was built on peace, unity, love, and having fun. And we don't want hip hop to be viewed as a violent culture because it's certainly not. And there, have to, there has to be different ways to solve issues and it shouldn't be through gun, gun violence. He's right, and this is a milestone year for hip hop. It's turning 50 next month in August. There will be plenty of celebrations to mark that anniversary, but there will also be other public forums to have this tough conversation that honestly needs to happen. In Wakefield, Amy Yancey, Pix 11 News.